morning, everybody. My name is Darlene, and I have Parkinson's. I'd like to apologize for my hair. I don't have a mirror that I can see into from my wheelchair. I have to get one. Claudine has one. She just needs to bring it into my room so that I can see myself. So this morning, I relied upon her. Would you like to tell the people what you said? I said, I even wet your brush. That's pretty much as good as it gets. Like, that's as good as it gets. She wet the brush. That's as good as it gets. You look fine. I don't... And then they proceeded to make fun of me as if I had stuck my finger in an electrical socket. And then I went, you know, I tell you. Anyway, that's how my life is going today. How's yours going? We had Finn today. Always a good day. Always a good day when we have Finn. The day before Gary goes home, uh, not so much, you know. I'd like him to stay. But anyway, he'll come back another time. So that's all I can hold on to. When Finn was here, he played the usual Finn tricks. It was so funny. I decided that I was going to go down and have a little rest. So I went in and he came in right away and whatnot. So Bill says to me, do you want me to close the door so that you can have a little rest? So I said, sure. Because yeah. I, I said to Finn, do you want to come up and play with Grandma on the bed? But he didn't want to do that. He kept wanting to come in and out. So anyway, he spied the new fan in the room and he hadn't had a chance to investigate it yet. So when he was out and the door was closed, he decided to come up the hall and he knocked on my door. It was so cute. Just a little tiny knock and I said, come in. The door opens and he comes in and he goes over to the fan and he starts playing with all the buttons and it twists every which way. He was having a blast. He really was having a Oh, here, look at it. I forgot to turn out this light and it's really glaring. Sorry. Anyway, so... He had a lot of fun with that, and then he discovered the uh, little clock radio I have. Just, it, it has, you know, just LED lights on it. So he thought he would play with that for a little while. Well, after he left, I didn't have a radio, I, I, a clock, I couldn't find it. But Claudine luckily knew where it was. Then he got his hands completely sticky because he was eating a butterscotch candy, of which he's too young to eat the candy, so he sort of held it in his hand and licked at it, and just made a big mess on his hands, but he enjoyed himself thoroughly, had his lunch. Claudine also has a cat tower. He climbs up to the top of the, the cat tower as if he's like the king of the castle, and he sits down up there, and he looks out the window, and he looks around the room. He never jumps off of it, but he's very proud of himself for getting up there. One of these times he'll take a tumble, and he'll realize that there's danger with it, but so far... No tumbles, he just scoots onto his belly and hangs his legs over and we watch that he doesn't fall and he manages to get his feet to the next step. So, But we had a great time. He was here for about an hour, half, an hour and a half for two hours and uh, it, it was a fun time. I just, I don't get to play with him, you know, interact and play with him because I can't get down on the floor, or I can't do those things, but he's so cute because he comes over and he gives fist bumps what do they call them knuckles knuckles he calls them knuckles so he'll come over with his hand and he'll give you little knuckles or he'll give you a high five and then if you say can i have a hug he'll come in and give you a squishy hug and his latest thing is if you say can i have a kiss he takes his forehead and he puts his forehead against your forehead oh it's so cute just melt your heart but anyway that's a grandma talking you know it's you know that's what i enjoy watching all of that going on and uh so anyway gary leaves tomorrow he i think he's a little bit concerned uh, we're not supposed to get a lot of snow but we're supposed to have cold temperatures we are currently at minus 17 i'm not sure if there's a wind chill or not but uh it's cold but not not a lot of snow so tomorrow they're scheduling i think minus 23 so plain de-icing and whatnot they got it that down pretty pat in calgary if there's not a bunch of snow as well. So hopefully he gets out of here. But currently where he's landing, tons of snow. So he's saying he's hoping that that clears up and that it comes this way after he's landed because he doesn't want to, you know, have a problem landing. Because if, if they have to fly over the airport, then they'll land at the nearest airport and bus you back. And that's never fun. So then he has to hope that his car, which has been parked at the airport for the week, 
doesn't have any problems and he can just fire her up. He it shouldn't have any problems, but you know, you never know when you've left it alone for a week. If we left our anything here alone for a week, it might not even be here. You know, it's like things things that I the, I'm amazed that the neighborhood is so safe. Like I think I think it's because of the neighbors. Like I think really the neighbors keep the neighborhood safe because they keep an eye on each other. Where it's it's a group a good group of people here. But there are other neighborhoods that people will put out these big uh, blow up lawn things and they they're gone the first night. They're they're expensive to buy and then they're gone the first night. But it seems in our area that it's fairly safe. So that's good. Anyway, um do I have anything else to say? I don't think I do. I'm going to miss Gary terribly when he goes home. We're going to play another game of Yahtzee. Uh, Gary and I played one game, just one column, uh, the other day, and he trounced me. And then last night we played two columns, and Bill played with us, and they both beat me. Bill by a little bit, Gary by a lot of bit. I was in the 300s, he was in the 500s. He trounced me again. Everybody so. For me. Right. Bully for him, he says. <laughs> so we're going to have another challenge tonight, and I am determined. I'm going to at least come in the middle. I don't want to be the last. I'm always the last. I don't want to be the last. Anyway, that's about all I have to say for now. I'm going to uh, end here, say my goodbyes to everybody. I'll see you all tomorrow, and I'm going to go play a game of Yahtzee. Have a good night.